Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate dMenu with Emacs. If you don't know what dMenu is or you never work with it, it's basically a piece of software that allows you to narrow a list of candidates based on the input that you pass it. So just to show you very quickly how it looks and works, this gray window at the top of the screen is the menu. Uh, this is how I configure it to be displayed. And these are all of the you know binaries in my bin folder. So if I wanted to look for Chromium, for instance, all I have to type is that. And then I believe if you use the spaces, it adds some wildcards so that it's um, it, it adds to the uh, fuzzy mechanism and it's easier to find your your desired candidate. And yeah, that's how it looks and how it works. I'm going to use echo and then I need to pass the minus E because I want it to display not, I, I don't want it to print the special characters. I want echo to interpret the special characters. So hello, and then backslash N world. So if I do it like this, it's going to, you know, output hello world in a different, in different lines, which is what I want. And then I'm going to pipe it out to the menu. I want it I want dmenu to be uh, vertically displayed. I don't know, like in 50 columns or whatever, 50 uh, rows. And then I'm gonna pass it the minus p and dot, and that should be it. There we go. So these are our two candidates. And if you, uh, you know, hit enter, it's gonna output it back into the terminal. And you know, that's how you will get the, the you know, the output from the menu and do whatever you want it to do. So that is. You know, an overview, there's a tons of configurations that you can do with it. I mean, I haven't looked at the C code, but if you're not familiar with the Suckless uh, Foundation software, they tend to have everything very clean. So even if you want to change some crazy, uh, you know, behavior of the software, you could look for the patches in their website and, you know, go nuts with it. So anyways, I have to say that it was very easy to set it up with Emacs. Uh, uh, this is all of the code that I needed to add in order for it to work. Now, to be fair, there are only a couple of functions and that these are the ones that I'm looking for. So I have, a, you know, defined a variable, which is the menu CFG, which is just, you know, the basic configuration, um, you know, aspect of how I want uh, the menu to be, to be displayed. Then I I created you know the interface to so call it uh, to AG. Now let me let me go to one of my uh, my projects here. If I call the menu AG, then it's gonna get really quick all of the code from the folder, and then in here I can look for anything that I want, like animated update a function, and then it's gonna take me there. So the, some of the other functions that I created was the menu AG in file. So this is essentially the same as sweeper. So if I call the menu AG in file, so this gets all of the content from the buffer. And in here I can look for whatever function that I want and it's gonna take me there. Let me go back. And then you can also look for files. Um, so let me call the menu find file. This is the, the list of files in my directory. I can open, you know, minimal mark mode and then it's gonna take me there. So, so yeah, I, I was also working on a switch buffer function, but um, I stopped basically because this is, I think that was enough. And this function was gonna take me a little while to uh, do it properly. So anyways, I think this was a good experiment for myself at least. And I thought that it was uh, really cool. So I wanted to share with you. And if you wanna give it a shot, with the, you know, this simple uh, example that I provided, I'm gonna leave this code in the description. And if you have questions, just let me know and thank you for watching.